else? Yes, of course. I do not like hypnosis. Yes. Because hypnosis is a laughing matter. So it's something that doesn't interest me at all because it means we're not highlighting, or if you prefer, emphasizing the power of man's mind, but rather to make him do ridiculous things. So it doesn't speak to me. In fact, when I was younger, I saw an incredible film. It was Star Wars. I think you know it, the very first one. There's a scene where Obi-Wan Kenobi, he's with Luke Skywalker. They're stopped by a stormtrooper. And he says, you haven't seen anything. We're not the people you're looking for. This person here, in fact, through the power of words and mind control, is able to make the person to agree with you and thus change their perceptions. And that's what interests me because it highlights the power of man without ridiculing him. Right. Vincent, I want to share this incredible experience with you. Okay. I've got a pen here, Vincent. Very good. Vincent, just take the pen. Incredible, isn't it? I'm amazed myself. Strong stuff. Okay, Vincent, put the pen back in my hand. Okay, now, Vincent, you're going to try to take the pen. No, what's going on, take Vincent? Take the pen, Vincent, now, take it, that's it. That unbelievable. What exactly happened? Let's strive to go further. It's actually called the power of words. Words have power. If I tell you transformation, it automatically means that you're evolving and changing. It's a word of power. There are what we call power words. Change. Evolution. These are strong words, words of power. If I tell to you, I see something special about you. Capture your mind. Automatically, it's a strong word. What's so special about me? I'm special, so it's going to create something. So let's try to go a little further with these words of power. Miss, could I borrow your glasses, please? Uh, thank you. Vincent, put them on. Now you can't see me anymore. Of course, I can see. I was joking. Now take them off. Put them back on. Now, try to take them off. I can still see, but I can't take them off. Take them off. Can you lift the table, Vincent? Yes, I think it's not very heavy. Right, you've made an effort, like it was 50 kilos. Now, Vincent, try lifting the table. <laughs> now I'm scared again. Ah. Uh... No, no, I can't. Lift it up. All right. What would you like to try on Vincent? Let me know. Any ideas? Is your first name Vincent? Yes. Now try saying your first name. I can't. Tell me your first name. Vincent. Okay, Vincent, let's do a multiplication, for example, two times three. Two times three, Vincent. Six, of course. I'm looking for the trap. Six, yes. Now, Vincent, try it. Two times three. Mm, I... I don't know. Two times three, Vincent. Six? 
Last experiment. Can you count to 10? You're going to count to 10. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now try to count to ten. One, two. <laughs> three. Three, four, five, six. Vincent, count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's scary. This is incredible. What I've noticed is that you say you're going to try and then something stops you. The number of times in my life I say I'm going to try to do this. And then there are times when I can't, but there are times when I feel like it's happening anyway. So what's behind this word, try? Well, there's the word itself. And then there's the power of my mind I'm going to project onto it to achieve that result. All right, then. OK. Amazing. Thank you for this. Amazing. Thank you. I'm Thank amazed. you very much. Thank you so much.